Uh, another feature we have is the uh, the clutch is on the input shaft of the gearbox here. What the clutch is designed for is, let's say you're tilling along, uh, you you run into a big rock or a let's see a pipe or a rebar or a chunk of concrete that you didn't know was there. It brought, it pulls that uh, piece of debris up into the housing. And for one reason or another, it turns sideways and it locks up this rotor shaft down here. This clutch is designed to dis disengage the rotor shaft should it lock up against a large piece of debris. And the clutch is designed to disengage that so it, uh, it preserves your drive components of your machine and your tractor. What you do is you just stop, lift the machine, dislodge the piece of debris, keep tilling. Okay, the adjustments for the clutch in here, it's like an automotive clutch. There's a flywheel in the back to the pressure plate, and then there's a flywheel in the forward, and then a dry clutch in between these two pressure plates, and they are spring-loaded and uh, adjusted according to the horsepower of your tractor so that under normal tilling conditions, 99% of your horsepower is passed through this PTO to your rotor shaft. If you lock up against a, a big rock or a chunk of concrete or asphalt, what you'll get is the horsepower of that tractor, the RPM will get drawn down. You should hear a distinct difference between normal operation and being locked up. If you hear a drawdown on your horsepower, put your clutch in, stop immediately, dislodge the material, keep tilling. Uh, if you don't hear a drawdown, your clutch is not adjusted properly, you need to increase the torque of your clutch for your horsepower.